Welcome back to Betrayal and Revenge Stories. I'm your friend Z, and today I'm here with two stories. Story 1 I am sure that there are many people on this sub who will resent me, given that I was the dumper in this scenario. I met my boyfriend in college when I was 19 years old. I had limited experience with men prior to the start of our relationship. He was the most caring, giving, and loyal person that I had ever met. He was like the boy version of me. He came to love me deeply, and I came to love him deeply as well. I moved to a new city after college to be with him. We lived together throughout the pandemic. Issues arose and I found myself thinking of straying, as I had never had any other relationship before, so I was full of the curiosity that may come with being on my own for a while and gaining more independence. Over the months, these feelings intensified and caused issues in our relationship. On top of this, I was surrounded by family and friends who insinuated that I could do better than him and that I should not tie myself down so young. For whatever reason, these people were very adamant in trying to get me to break up with him. As my feelings of confusion and a long for the unfamiliar intensified, these people were more persistent in telling me that I should break up with him. I lost my job one day and, on somewhat of a whim, packed my things and drove home to my parents' house in a different city. I will never forget the look on his face when I left. He got on his knees and sobbed as I drove away. He had been planning to ask me to marry him in the coming months. When I came home, I was very unemotional about the whole thing. I can't explain why, I think that I was kind of in denial that I had actually left him and was starting a new life of my own. In the next two to three months, I occupied myself with a new job and friends and didn't think often about the situation. I even visited him occasionally and still was unemotional about the fact that I had left him. One day, it was like it hit me all like a brick. I started having nightmares and panic attacks. During my lunch break at work, I would go to my car just to cry. I still do this. Every day, I reached out to him and apologized, crying and pleading. He told me that he he had moved on that he could never forgive me for leaving so suddenly. The people who were adamant that I leave him were not there for me when I started feeling like this. I feel like I just made the worst decision of my life. Words can't explain how much I loved this man how much he completed me and made me a better person, how guilty I feel for letting him down when he is the only person in my life who has never betrayed me in some way. Every day, I am realizing how empty daily activities are when I am not sharing them with him. It's almost as if since he was all I had ever known, I needed his absence to realize how much he contributed to my happiness and well-being. I just turned 25 and I have no desire to date. A lot of people around me are getting married. I know that I only have so much time to find someone, as I am a woman in the South. But I have absolutely no desire to date other people. I honestly never really did. I can't even explain why I left, as I do not fully understand why I did. I am hopeless, guilt-stricken, depressed, and sometimes have thoughts of ending it all. I don't know what I'm asking for here. I just wanted to vent and let you all know that sometimes the dumper grieves just as much as the dumpy does in a breakup. So what we all learn from this story, when it comes to relationship, never let others to influence you. We all learn the importance of a person only after losing them. Now let's jump to the next story. Story 2. So, I dated this guy for two years. He was the CXO of this startup, where I was one of the first employees. Few months into the startup, we started dating and we went out for a few years. After we broke off, the work culture became real toxic for me personally and to protect my mental health. I removed myself from the company. It was hard seeing him every day and everyone who was so friendly personal suddenly pushed me out. It was a lonely, dark period of my life. Mind you, I had given my blood, sweat and tears to this company as one of the first employees for almost three years, working six days a week, sometimes on holidays. I loved working there until before the breakup. I even supported him financially when he didn't draw his salary or was late on rent or needed to credit deposit on a new house. Four years after I have left, the company is going to become a unicorn and all my peers are going to cash in their stocks. He is a co-founder, so you know, Shei Ching, they only handed out ESOPs to people after they had worked for a few years. Yeah, rookie mistake. Here's the thing, I just feel like an emotional fool right now. I feel like all that hard work didn't land me anywhere. I'm also feeling really stupid for being so short-sighted. I loved working for that company and felt like I was forced to leave because I didn't know how to manage my emotions. And of course, jealous. 
From being a key contributor in the company to fucking it up royally, I definitely did come a long way. When I look back now, I feel like he's grown into this amazing guy, married, probably a kid on the way and building a legacy, while I've really done nothing. We have some mutual friends who always bring him up into conversations. That's how I know. I'm not in a relationship so far from getting married. I thought of making good money, but now my peers, younger and less experienced than me, are gonna cash in, and seeing them thrive is also gonna be brutal. This feeling sucks. But more than anything, I feel like a loser and an emotional fool. To get more stories and updates, hit the like, share, and subscribe button.